I want to show you this. And I had these questions on the tweet earlier. Matt Wynn tweeted me this. Why does my low tire light come on every time it's cold? Well, Matt, I have the answer for you, buddy. Let me explain to you just exactly what happens. We, we talk about this every time that it, that it initially gets cold here in Dallas, Fort Worth and across North Texas. And if you saw that light this morning on your dashboard, yep, that's what it is. It's the low, uh, low pressure indicator. So when we have warm air, and, and if you take a look at this, uh, the, the molecules are spread apart with warm air. When we have the cold air, what takes place is those molecules, they become dense. So what happens is they just become closer together, which means we start to lose air in our tires. So, so as the air temperature drops, what takes place is the molecules in the tire become more dense, causing the tire to lose pressure, and it's about two pounds per every 10 degree drop. So when you take a look at this, now, when we're at 70 degrees, the air, there's, there's no change with the pressure. When it's 60 degrees, we lose two pounds. When it's 50 degrees, we lose four. When it's 40 degrees, we lose six. And when it's 30 degrees, we lose eight. So we have, the, it, it happens every single year. But just know it's, you know, my kids call me, Dad, what's going on? I've got the light on. Stop in and get some air in the tire. It's all going to be good, unless you have a nail or something like that. But that's what happened uh, the last couple of mornings. I, Cynthia and I were talking about this yesterday. I was surprised yours didn't happen over the weekend when we had that initial cold snap. I didn't have to go to discount tire, though. She didn't have to go to discount tire. Captain Awesome there aired up her tire. There you go. <laughs>